John, welcome. Uh, delighted to have you with us. Your company produced more oil in the third quarter of last year, 16% more than a year prior. The question that comes out of that is, why are you doing that? Is the market in balance or is it oversupplied? I mean, you know, you look today and uh, there is definitely some short-term headwinds. Uh, Long-term, we are very constructive on the oil market. And if you look, we are really back to where we were pre-COVID levels. So a lot of the recovery, and you saw the growth last year, uh, we worked down a large duck count uh, in the U.S., um, but we've really kind of gotten back to our pre-COVID levels. And in general, we will target to sustain the company or grow at very low single digits. Last week was a rough week for oil prices. Where do you see prices? What's the range for this year, if you had to guess? I mean, I think we're in a world today where, you know, clearly it's an election year. Uh, historically, election years have been hard. Uh, there's a lot of battle to try to keep, keep prices, down. prices down, everything there. Um, but I, you know, like I said, we think that uh, inventory's in a pretty good place. You know, you get to the back half of this year, uh, we'll see some draws, and we're very constructive on oil. But, How much uh, do you worry about what's going on in the Middle East, the Red Sea, and so forth? Is it disruptive to you? Is it an interruption to you? Is it a, not existential, but how big is the threat? Well, Tyler, you know, uh, Apache's the largest oil producer in the country of Egypt, and so we border, Egypt borders Gaza. Uh, I was just over there last week, in fact, just returned. Um, you know, we're fortunate that uh, our operations are in the western desert, so we are west of Cairo. Uh, you know, we have not been impacted in that light, but uh, I can tell you in general, you know, things are delicate in the Middle East today. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, cross currents and, uh, you know, things are very fragile over there right now. This business, uh, your business, has been characterized by a lot of consolidation in recent years. Um, and you bought a large company last year, Callan Petroleum, correct? Uh, that would be, we entered into a, a merger agreement early this year, January. Early this year. You know, and... Uh, so <clears throat> what is the attraction of consolidation? How much more acquisition do you expect Apache might do? And what kinds of companies are on your radar screen? If you look back over my tenure, uh, Callan's really the first sizable deal that uh, we've done. And so... You know, we're a, a, we believe in a diversified portfolio. We have international operations as well as U.S. operations. This bulks you up in the Permian Basin. Uh, this adds to kind of our backbone mm -hmm. in the Permian, which is where we've had strong performance, strong results. Uh, if you look at our Permian, uh, we've got critical mass and scale in the Midland Basin. And, you know, what Callan would do for us is really bolster our Delaware Basin. And so, um, you know, we look at it as a, you know, a strategic uh, transaction. Uh, it's very opportunistic and it's very accretive. So, you know. Could you do more <clears throat> acquisition? You know, Might I, you? I, I just if say so. We, I just say we have a very high bar. And, uh, you know, we're, you have to have a high bar. Uh, you know, when you look at our equity, we feel like it's uh, very attractively valued. I mean, it's very attractive. And so you're going to, you know, have a high bar. And, and, and this transaction cleared that bar. But uh, like I said, this is the first, you know, sizable transaction that we've done in, in my tenure, uh, you know, nine years. John Chrisman, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.